Esteban. I'm Zana. Okay. Let's go. I'm going to go with you. And I'm Rosie. Hi. Hey everyone, thanks for joining us for another week. We were blown away by the support and encouragement from our first introduction video. Um, and just to give you a quick reminder of why we're doing this, here's a clip from last week's video. The why is that we are committed to becoming the best versions of ourselves. And this vlog is gonna document how we live intentionally. And specifically, it's gonna kind of give you an insight of how we check in with our mind, our body, our spirit, and our heart. Um, so that we can show our kids they are not to blame. They are our why, and hopefully through our intention, they can become wholehearted humans too. So for episode two, we will be focused on the mind, or para mis hispanos, la mente. Hold on to your seats, y'all. Um, what are you doing? I'm looking back at all these memories, Hola. Okay. <laughs> this is from like high school, college, when I went on my mission. So I have like letters from people and pictures. Look at all this stuff. I need to go through it. But look, I found all these pictures of friends and like when I was in my mission. And then what's cool is I found this book um, that my one of my teachers in high school, she was our student council rep. Subi? What? They used to call me Subi. It was my nickname in high school. Yeah. Oh, what? They and then, wanna... this is cool too. This is when mommy, can you get it? This is when mommy learned how to plan. So mm. she like, you know how she plans in her book now? Mm -hmm. This is when she learned how to set goals and plan and block out her day. Was that in college? This was actually when I served my mission. Isn't that crazy? So in my mission, something, well, Esteban did this too. Um, our mission president, shout out to President Cottle and Sister Cottle, um, encouraged us to learn how to utilize affirmations to keep us motivated, to keep us focused. And so I had like tons of like inspirational quotes and, you know, different things that sat above my wall and we always had like a study section with a desk and I'd always kind of keep them up there as I would do my morning routine and get mentally prepared and plan, planned out for the day so that I always had that reminder of who I was and what I needed to accomplish and you know something that I had to do when I was on my mission was learn Spanish um, which learning a new language with a fixed mindset is quite the task right so the affirmations really came in and handy. Um, I would tell myself on the daily that like, like, yo soy una Latina, <laughs> like I'm a Latina, um, hablo como nativa, I speak like a native. And I truly began to believe that, right? I, I worked on my accent. I wasn't afraid to mess up. I'd go in with a journal on the daily and write down words that I didn't know and study those words the next day, turn them into flashcards. Um, and so when I actually got back to college, I think I left the university at like my second year of Spanish. So I was going into my third year of Spanish when I returned to university. And the professor was like, yeah, you speak Spanish pretty good. Like you should probably go get tested. So I go to the testing center. Um, and not only do I test out of third year Spanish, I test out of the whole university. So, you know, I'm someone that, always believed that they just weren't smart I'm not book smart my sisters were so gifted always in gifted programs and I was like the the athlete and the people person and you know wanted to be more social and you know I just didn't think I could do that I didn't think I could learn a language I didn't think I could get on the dean's list or test out of anything in college and you know by setting goals and having the the thought and the belief that I could then turned into the action or the goals and the action that I could and then it produced results right so after that I never doubted myself until 2016. Rome and I are here to tell you all about 2016. So let me set the stage. 2016 I was a mother of two children 
I was working full time as a retail manager. Um, and I pretty much stopped doing the things that I loved. Wasn't really singing, not doing theater, um, not really active and working out. Didn't really have a community group to kind of be with. I was like lost in my church callings and really burnt out. Um, and so I wasn't performing my best at work and just got to a point where I would just like cry for no reason. And I really think there was a mixture of postpartum depression in there um, on top of me just not really feeling fulfilled. Um, and so as I reflected and was trying to get to the why, I had learned a previous job, like when you want to get to the root of something, ask yourself why five times. And so I just kept asking myself why. Um, and it, the root was, you know what? Like I was the happiest in my mission in college when I was learning and developing and planning and being intentional. Right. And then as I was like thinking that I find Rachel Hollis and I find Brene Brown and I find super soul Oprah podcasts and Brendan Bouchard, um, and Mel Robbins and the list goes on and on. Right. So I start listening to people that speak that, that language of belief and intention and being planful and setting goals and being creative and living wholeheartedly. And so as I started being more intentional with my time and, and believing those things and setting affirmations again, my whole attitude changed. Right. Um, and you know, what really sparked me questioning that was getting pregnant with twins. I was like, Oh my gosh, like if I'm not together with two kids, like how am I going to be put together with four? <laughs> so, um, these little baby girls really inspired me to change the way I was living my life. Um, I wanted to make sure that all four of my kids know that they can accomplish anything as long as they believe it. And I hope that they always know that Esteban and I have full belief in them. Um, so the first step was that I went and I bought a Panda Planner. So here's the Panda Planner. You can obviously find out more by going to mypandaplanner.com. There's some cool videos there that will explain all the things that this planner can help with. But here's kind of a rundown. You start by using the daily section. You then fill in your top three to five priorities for the day. You fill out your daily section, list out your tasks, and at night you do your end of day review. Um, you obviously will become more productive and happy. I can tell you that this has worked in my life. Um, then once per week you use weekly to reflect on the past seven days and plan for the upcoming week. I normally do this on Saturday or Sunday depending on my work schedule. And then you use the monthly section to plan both the big events in your month and your goals. There are two sizes. This is the six month planner, so it's a bit bigger. I tried this out to save money. I actually prefer the smaller size. This one's been beat up a little, but this is the, the quarterly journal for three months and it's a bit smaller. So you can see it's kind of easier to tote around. Another cool thing is that the boys see me plan and the girls and they want to get involved too. So this is when Teo helped me plan and then Joaquin drew some pictures for me to keep me motivated. Um, so, you know, as your children see you taking your life more seriously and being intentional with your time, they mimic that behavior. We've been looking for ways to teach our kids how to have a growth mindset and decided to start by reading a book on how the brain works. The brain has many parts that do all kinds of different jobs. So this is the cerebrum, hippocampus, prefrontal cortex, the am amygdala mm -hmm. and the cerebellum. Whoa, that pink stuff is busy. <laughs> so let's learn what is what. So come over here. Let's look at cerebrum. Tito, can you say cerebrum? Cerebrum. Good job. So the cerebrum is the largest part of the brain and it helps you think and speak. So what does the cerebrum do? Helps you think and speak. Yep. The cerebellum is a small part at the back of the brain that helps your muscles to coordinate 
your movement and your balance yeah. so that you can walk, ride, bike, or play tag. Nice. I think therefore I am that's deep. Right, we just finished reading the your elastic brain. Yeah, your your elastic brain. And so I'm gonna ask the boys, kind of debrief the boys on what they learned. How is your brain elastic? It's stretchy. How do you make it stretch? Grow. How do you make it grow? And you grow up and do stuff. So right now you guys are in the magic years because you're under 10 and your grain is growing at the fastest rate. But how do you make it keep growing as you get older? You learn. You learn more. Yeah, you learn more. You take risks. What does a risk mean? I don't know. It means that you might do something and you might fail at it, but what is, it, does failure mean your brain's not working? Does it hurt your brain? No, grow. It helps you grow, right? And stretch. So what are you gonna do differently after reading this book? What? Do you think you can accomplish anything you believe you can? I don't know. Hey, Hoa, guess what? <laughs> I believe that. Maybe. I believe you can do anything as long as you believe it and then you put work behind it. So what's one thing you're learning right now that's new? Violin. Yeah. So keep practicing that Hi. violin. Hi, Teo. <laughs> I love you. Hey, bae. What um, book did we read? Um, um, brains. The brain book? Yeah. And what did you learn about your brain? Um, a brain gets... Mm. Is it growing? Yeah. Yeah? Is your brain growing now? Yeah. <laughs> Tito, how do you... Tito, how do you make it keep growing? How do you make it keep growing? Um, yeah. by, by learning new things yeah. and getting older, right? Tito, what's one thing you're good at? Yeah. What's one thing you like? Um, animals. You like animals? Yeah. That's awesome. Do you think you can do anything? Yeah. I do too. I love you. Tito, I love you. Yeah, I love you too. We hope you've enjoyed this episode of Casa Cardi and hope we've inspired you to live life with a little more intention, whether you set goals or affirmations or go get yourself a planner. Next week, stay tuned for an episode all about the body. I'm Esteban. I'm Zana. I'm Joaquin. But I'm Rosie. I'm Rosie. <laughs> and I'm Rosie. Thanks for watching. Gracias por mirar. Until next time. Hasta pronto. We are. Somos. La Casa Carri. Okay, subscribe, guys. <laughs> <laughs>